Nestor Vicente Medalla Gonzalez was a Filipino novelist, short story writer, essayist, and a poet. He is conferred as the National Artist of the Philippines for Literature in 1997. The Happiest Boy in the World by NVM Gonzalez One warm July night, Julio was writing a simple letter to his usurious landlord Caponso, inquiring about possible accommodations for his son. Julio watched Jose as he sprawled on the bench together with his wife and their baby girl. I hope that Caponso will agree to take my son as a boarder so he can attend school in town. Dear compadre, it's about my boy Jose. He's in the sixth grade now. Since he's quite a poor hand at looking after carabaos, I thought it would be best that he go to school in the town. This boy Jose, compadre, is quite an industrious lad. If only you can make him do anything you wish. He can cook rice and I'm sure he'll do well washing the dishes. I hope you will not think of this as a great bother. We shall repay you for whatever you can do for us, compadre. It's true that we already owe you for many things, but my wife and I will do all we can indeed to repay you, and I wish you would treat Jose as you would to your own son. You may beat him if he does something wrong. Indeed, I want him to look up to you as a second father, your compadre, Julio. About 6 o'clock in the morning, Jose was riding a carabao along the riverbed road to town. Julio asked his son to take the letter and deliver it to the landlord. Mind that you take care of the letter. Do you have it? Yes, Tatai. I won't lose it. And take good care of the carabao. I'll come to town myself in a day or two to get it back. I just want to finish the planting first. As Julio headed home, he remembered something more to tell his son. The letter! Be sure to give it to Caponso as soon as you reach town. Be good and do everything he asks you to do. Remember everything. Yes, Tata, yes. Jose grew very curious about the contents of the letter and then he found a way to sneak off and read it. As he saw what his father is trying to do for him, he felt a glow in his heart and soon realized that he is indeed the happiest boy in the world.